going to do a quick video on how to make my favorite mask. There won't be a lot of commentary. We're going to use a jig that I made. And um, this uh, mask has a pocket at the bottom, a channel to put a wire to have it conform around your nose at the top. And uh, we used elastic. So we're going to start with an 8 inch by 16 inch piece of cotton fabric that was pre-washed in hot water. We have the needle all the way to the right for an eighth, eighth inch seam allowance. And just kind of eyeball doing that quarter inch by quarter inch fold. Tuck it. So you wanna make sure you're getting through all pieces of fabric here, all three layers. don't get through all three layers you can add a second uh, seam along there but we did so we're gonna proceed we're gonna sew along this eight inch wide seam so this is going to be forming the pocket at the bottom so tuck it layers. So now we're going to use this jig, made it out of a cereal box, or in this case a cracker box, and we're going to uh, put the seam here at this top. I'm going to fold this down. I have a separate video that shows how to make this jig. It saves a lot of time, and I do this whole pattern with no ironing. So I usually do this pattern in about six to eight minutes. I'll probably be a little slower just because I'm I'm going to still talk even though I'm trying to minimize. So we're only worrying about getting those uh, two pleats sewn. We're not going to worry about the whole side. So and again, we're still working with that eighth inch seam allowance. So. This is the same pattern of jig that is for the St. Charles Medical Center, um, but I'm modifying the pattern to use elastic, and I'm only using one piece of fabric instead of two to cut out some of the bulk right in your line of vision, as well as uh, one less seam to cut and sew. Normally I have an audiobook, a TV show going in the background. So now we have our two pleats here. We're going to use elastic and I'm going to do a French seam. So we're going to put these two openings for the pocket here on the side. I'll trim all this later. And so we're going to actually have it uh, with the right sides facing out uh, to do this French seam. And again, we only have an eighth inch seam allowance. Backstitch, make sure these edges are lined up. Make sure you don't get a twist in there because that'll be uncomfortable for the person wearing this. Do your own research. The CDC is updating guidelines daily, so. Uh, what uh, worked a week ago, it may not work today. So HEPA bags, vacuum bags, you should not be using for your filter. But a week ago, that was okay. So information is updating constantly as we are learning more about uh, COVID. So again, lining up those seams on the right. And then 
here's where I usually will trim off some of these extra threads and things if I don't want them sticking out uh, on the final version. So if you're doing a fancy garment with a French seam, you might actually trim that from an eighth inch seam down to a sixteenth inch of a seam. So this was all pre-shrunk before I handled it because you just want to make sure that you're not handling anything that anyone else has handled. Never handle anyone else's mask or filter. So now we're going to flip this inside out. Use my letter opener again to get those corners tight. So when you're making these to donate, uh, these need to be uh, sanitized before the next person handles them and wears them. So uh, the donation spots are taking care of that for the medical care workers. Oops. And here we actually want to take that uh, seam back to the middle. So we're gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance. Some back stitching. I'm gonna make sure the seam is nice and tight and we wanna get this little elastic piece here. Every time you change your thread or your bobbin, um, be sure to clean your machine because that will keep it running smoothly. Do a little light oiling and uh, it, you will definitely notice it. I appreciate that you did that each time. And lining up the seams, getting this elastic in here. And then uh, here we have a completed mask. Um, I'm going to do the optional addition of the um, pleats at the nose and so I use a template here, eyeball it to center it. This is four inches wide by half inch tall. So this is where we can put a wire in there to make it fit. So normally I'd try to match it to the fabric, but I'm not gonna worry about matching thread today. And then here we need to be careful we don't sew over that seam or the pleat. So we get a couple stitches in, untuck that so we don't sew over it. And then here I want the needle to end in the down position to do this corner. And again, make sure I don't have any of the fabric in there. So I'm going to stop that about three quarters of an inch shy of the end and uh, that way I have room that from the inside you can put a piece of wire in there and there is a completed mask and uh, this is my favorite pattern because we have this uh, pocket for filter and we have the channel for the nose to make it conform to your face and then just do a little bit of cleanup of the threads and that's ready to go and be sanitized and then ready to go to the person.